Hi, Rob. Hi, Dr. Y. Look, I'm so sorry to call you so late, but the reality is, dude, I am happy to drop all these charges and whatever because that has never been my mission, but I cannot confirm that these three people are alive, and you know I don't give a shit generally. I mean, I never want anyone to die about Yancey and William. I cannot confirm the safety or aliveness of Izella, and there have been suspicious reasons to believe you guys have contacted her. If what you say now is accurate to the situation related David related to David's you know story that he texted me I don't know if it was true or not I don't give a shit even if it was true I didn't give a shit bro but the retaliation based on the lie that you confirmed later on multiple occasions has me freaking out Izella because I can't confirm that she's alive or dead so can you confirm what's going on as I've told the truth this whole time if it lines up with um all I know is that investigation happened with David my impression was that David thought that they were somehow involved with that gang because I had never heard of that gang really uh, you know until that investigation happened and it may have been just David making guesses or oh, okay kind of but I'm talking about the murder story or the torture story him trying to I don't I have no okay. except for what you've told then me can you help me tomorrow me. audit all of the text records from him and his two numbers from Verizon so I can send this to Izella and we can what? get those he told me a fucked up story man that involved torturing yeah, a I, guy that he tortured a guy it's all in a full confession he, like, in my text records on dad's like, phone he, he had to keep some guy from a, a Sir, it's graphic and it's all in his writing. Can you help me okay. tomorrow audit the get all text records from both lines with David? What's That's all I need because it's what there. You, what do you need from that? What's going to come from that? Because then whatever's true or not, I'll know that Izella is safe because people are being honest. I've been the only honest one, sir. Can I get those text records as was done to Yancey? You mean the ones that you sent me? No, the ones that you know I'm talking about between me and David Peterson or that individual, both text lines, Why including don't... the private line. It's really don't easy. You have all that stuff? My phone got full and w I wiped it, not knowing because I thought David was affiliated with law enforcement based on things he had said to me. I just need the, we just need the black and white from David, sir. There is no reason it cannot be provided. Can we dig it up tomorrow or do I go to the courthouse want, and press charges? Text message, you want text messages that you Sir, me? I'm being very clear with you and I know you understand no, no, I'm me. Confused. Text messages between my phone, the, the dad's line, whichever yeah. number it was at, all three of them we got to audit and David Peterson, both of David Peterson's phone lines. Can you provide those? There is no legitimate reason. And if this story isn't true, all incriminating stuff goes to me. And I'm fine with that. I've already told it all to LAPD while reporting this. I will drop all charges, release all liability. You just need to help me dig those texts up. If they're not uncovered... Did you, did you send the text to me? No, I, I looked for it. I could not find it. And we can find it all if we go to Verizon. I will only go to Verizon now and we need to do it tomorrow. Will you do it with I me, sir? All. Sir, I will drop all charges, and you know you will lose your license if I come forward with it. If, Sir, it's not worth the risk for your license either. They're there. Let's dig them up. And if they're not, as I've what said, I will go into treatment. Be... I will go into treatment, sir. To go to Verizon with you. Because I don't have Dad's password for his account. And it has been denied to me ever since with this retaliation. And the retaliation is a legitimate reason to have a post-traumatic stress disorder freak out, my friend. Telling, so let me, just tell me if I'm clear on this. You're telling me that if your dad is able to give you some password on Verizon, you'll be able to go and see your text messages with uh, David, where he spells out that he did something nefarious. They are there in the records. I don't know if it is possible to alter them, but we need to get a comprehensive, unaltered record of the two large, at least two large text messages with pictures of the individual who he tortured. He admits in details the full torture, including ripping tape, duct tape, on and off the individual's lips several times and pouring salt Jesus on them. Christ. Are you not, you are, you've got to be aware of this based on the way it's been responded to. I just need us to dig up those texts. So they exist. Here so you can listen to it over and over again, Peter. I'm not aware of this. I'm not in communication with David. I don't know what kind of crazy shit that guy has been telling you and what's been going on. Dr. Y, I don't know whether or not you're aware, and I don't care. I just need those texts dug up tomorrow, and I need someone to let Izella know tonight that I'm not crazy. I'm not going to run up on her, but I have a legitimate reason because those texts do exist. And also, is Peter on this line, which is great, but I'm not making this up. Those texts exist.
And if you look, they are there. Rob, I don't have Peter on this line. Oh, I thought you said I'm Peter. Working. I'm sorry. It's all good. No, I thought I heard working. you say the name Peter. It's it's okay. No, no. I'm, what I'm trying. I'm, what I'm. What I need to understand is this: you want to sue me or take me to court? I don't want to do that at all. But I need to I, because. Oh. No, no. Here's the question. Here's the question. Here's actually the question. You want me to call Isella? Tonight. No, don't contact her, but somehow she needs to be verified safe, so we need to get, as soon as Verizon is open tomorrow, those records, and I need how you... Does those, how do those records help you, Zella? Because this whole reason I freaked out is started with me disclosing this to you guys, the story. I may even have that documented in text. Probably do, haven't checked, because I really don't want to make this a legal thing. This is really an issue that those texts exist and they have not been even looked into one bit. If you remember, this whole freak out a couple weeks ago began when I asked you guys just to dig those up because I was uncomfortable with contact I was receiving online, which I've received in the last several days, verified to be possibly, quite possibly, I won't incriminate myself and make a claim that I haven't totally proven. But I have several communications that I firmly believe were also from David, and I could totally be wrong. I kind of hope they are, because that makes this whole thing easy. It could also be easy if we go to Verizon tomorrow and dig up these records of these Verizon's texts. Verizon's not going to give us anything, man. With Dad's password, we can. And I know we can, because I've been to Verizon and talked to them about it. And they also can they dig sent- up the pictures of the individual that he sent. I know this is true, because I spoke with Verizon both on the phone and in person. My head has been blowing up from this whole thing just trying to get through to you and I know it's not as complicated as you're making it sound right now. You need to dig those texts up right like tomorrow. I need to have the password. How I, am I going to get the text? What do I need to do to get the we text? We can go to Verizon to the store. We can both meet there. As long as they do it in or I think we need to do it online. I will need to have a comprehensive unaltered text record which I will expect those texts to be there because I know I'm guilty of things and the things you have accused me of that say I'm mental and you know as the drug addiction whatever makes me, you know, paranoid, whatever whether or not that's true, I know that those texts exist. I should have saved them. I thought he was I was under the impression that he was law enforcement and I haven't even been given a PI license even though I've been demanding it for a long time. I will gladly drop all charges and not give a fuck even on David, but you need to stop making me look stupid, my dude. Are you do you hear me on this one? Cuz I know you know the truth and I or not the truth about the thing, but you know those texts exist. I'm not being stupid. I'm offering you release of liability yeah, for all understand. of this stuff. I just don't understand how you getting those texts helps you in any way. Because now I've made myself look stupid because I can't get through to Yancy, I can't get through to Izella, and Izella probably thinks I'm fucking gonna murder murder her or something because I can't stop blowing her up. But this dude, David, who pressured me for her info multiple times, called me back later, always on a phone call when it's incriminating, calls me back later and is like, you know, he's like, I can't find anything on this Izella chick, only her Instagram which has nothing on it. I'm like, you think I'm going to give it to you, bro? Like, at this point, it's weird, you know? The only reason I gave him her number, which I did do, was because he told me he was going to protect her from the MS-13 threat that turned out to never be verified. And Izella hasn't talked to me since, only text messages, which I can't verify are actually heard. There's no delivered label, just like on Dad's now, who's got me blocked because you're telling people I'm paranoid. But these texts exist. I don't know if you know they exist. I'm not saying whatever. Dig them up. They exist immediately. I don't even care about David or what he did. It's not my fucking problem. But it has followed me into Izella's life, Yancey's life, William's life. The shit needs to fucking stop, my dude. I'm looking stupid, and I'm going to end up in jail, which I will gladly do before I tell you before I let this go, because I will not let Izella get hurt or involved at all. And what is your response to that? Will you help me dig them up? Because they exist. It just needs to be simple, sir. Yes or no? If you it, all, once I have those texts, what, I will what, release you of all what, liability. What, what text messages? You think I'm going to be able to get you text messages? How? how I can do everything with Dad's password. I just need to verify that it comes straight from Verizon immediately. As soon as they are open, as soon as we can do it, we can do it all together. I will show you the text messages when they arrive because I know they are there. And then basically, you'll be able to tell these LSC I'm not crazy. Well, yeah, because I'm blowing her up. Because I don't know if this David dude who's really been creeping on her, creeped her, he told me she was in danger from via me to get her phone number. You know, he calls me frantically the next day because he can't find more contact info, which I was able to find in two seconds, and I've just never used because I'm not weird like David like that. 
but you need to verify that she hasn't been contacted by you guys, which is unauthorized entirely, 100%. And... Rob, Rob I haven't spoken to Zella ever. Has David? I don't know. I don't talk to David ever, except for that night when we met him at the... Okay, then that's great. I still need these text messages because I made myself look stupid for a good reason. Yeah, you did make yourself look stupid. Well... You're getting... You're, you're Sir, you need to calm down. You haven't given me a straight answer, and that's what makes this the most obvious of all. Do you want a release of liability, or do you want to keep being obvious and I take you to court, which I don't want to do? What do you say? Rob, if I meet you at the Verizon store, you think that they're going to say, oh, you're with your doctor. Let's give you... All we need is Dad's Verizon. password and authorization. You three have called me paranoid. You have not provided the text that exists, sir. And you are being witnessed right now, so you better tell the truth, because I will still release you of liability. I am not the only one in here. Rob, Sir, I will be 100% calm please. when you stop doing this and provide those texts. I've offered to go to treatment and inpatient several times upon Rob, receipt of those text records, which you that. will not provide. You dodge it with these arguments, which is not fair, because Izella is 18 and could possibly get hurt, and you have caused this entire freakout with your lies, Rob. sir. What lies? Provide the text what messages, lies? and I'm fine. You don't do them. I need to take you to court to get them. I don't want to do that, and you will you lose can. your license because you know they exist. Rob, if you get these passwords from your dad, I'll gladly go with you to Verizon. No, go ahead and get them sir, to I need dad. to have those text messages in my hand. I will get the password with you guys on the phone or in the store. I will not leave the store, and I will not check into treatment until you look and find that they exist because I know they exist, and it's very, very suspicious. You're not only the retaliation. because you keep blowing her up. Of course I am, because she might be in danger because you're denying the fact that you can find these. Excuse me? You're probably going to hang up on me. I'm hoping you won't, but you probably will because you're not listening to me. You haven't let me get a word in edgewise. Yes, I have, but talk. You haven't looked up the text messages which would have saved us two weeks of headaches, sir. And yeah, it looks like me, but I'm going to keep her safe no matter what, even if you lie. First of all, I've never lied to you. Then can we look at the text messages then? It's that simple. Talk. Whatever text message you sent me, you could look at. No, the ones in my records between the dad phone line and David Peterson's both phone lines, they are there. How, you will find them. How would I have that access? With dad's password, in, we can get it all, and they are there. When I have them, I will release you guys of liability. Otherwise, I need to take you to court because this is bullshit. You have created a very valid safety concern that you have not verified and you have right. dodged for weeks. Created a freak out by instigating my post traumatic stress disorder when you are my psychiatrist under the Hippocratic Oath. When I will release you and David and everybody of all fucking liability. Rob, I have text messages from you telling me you're doing that, several of them. That's fine. I've already told the cops when I reported this that I do. Wonderful. I'm sure that helped with everything. Like, I Is there a reason you're dodging going to get the text, sir? That's a dodge? Yes, you've been dodging it you this entire conversation. Good. And it is obvious to the witnesses, too. Rob, listen to this. Sir. Message. This whole headache. You're not lying to you. you're totally overwhelmed and you're not making I'm overwhelmed because David claimed in text messages that is black and white evidence from his phone of a violent crime that he did the same way he is approaching me. And I'm approaching his I'm blowing her up because you know what the fact of the matter is? The fact of the matter is, sir, those texts exist and you know them. And I'm still releasing you. I will still release you of liability. You know them. How do I know them? Well, if you don't, then let's dig, dig them up because they exist in Verizon, sir. And I, it feels like to me you're trying to dodge this topic. You're actually completely disorganized and delusional about it. Actually, I'm not. They exist, sir. And I've said the same thing for weeks. And you continue to dodge it and try to freak out my post traumatic stress disorder. Listen to it over and over again on the recording. I will, because it's true, and it's the same thing I've said for weeks, sir, and this is recorded. When I, when I have to press charges tomorrow, because this is a serious issue, we're going to have to review this, and I'm sorry, sir, but we're going to have to do it, because I know you're playing games with me. You know why I called you back? I'm not playing games with you. know why I called you back? Why? Because I'm really worried about your brain, I think you're losing it, 100%. My what? Your, your brain, your brain. That is not true, sir. And I actually had two psychiatric evaluations today where I discussed this whole situation that you and I are...